Today, let's explore how to use a metal shed to build a hydroponic farm. So the straightforward answer for this question is, yes, but you need to be sure that you need to set up an indoor hydroponic system. So what is the difference between indoor and outdoor hydroponic systems? So you need to be attentive towards two things. The first thing you need to pay attention to is a lighting system. You must require a proper grow light system because you need to mimic the sunlight using these grow lights. So it's possible that you can set up a hydroponic system in the shed, but you need to have grow lights in your shed. The second thing you need to pay attention to is temperature. As it is a shed structure, definitely there will be a temperature rise. And if the height of the shed is too short, then will be more temperature rise. So you must ensure that your shed should have 15 to 20 feet of height. You should also ensure temperature fluctuation. For example, in the daytime, the temperature rises and at night temperature drops. If the temperature rises, so the solution for this comes in two terms first is an outdoor solution and the second one is the indoor solution. The outdoor solution for this is that you should cover up the open area with a thick sheet like tarpaulin. By covering the open area, the temperature will drop in the daytime. The second method is that you can use an indoor cooling system. But if your area is huge, then it will be a costlier affair to install a cooling system into it. Here you can install a small fogger system above your shed so it will be continuous water dropping. By using a fogger system, your temperature will be in control. So by considering these two things, you can set up a hydroponic system in a shed. It will be very cost effective and result in a profitable equation. You will have total control over this as compared to a pole house system because you are setting up a hydroponic system in a completely close environment. So here you have to be attentive towards two things. First, grow lights and second, temperature. Dropping the temperature depends upon the temperature variation in the shed. Learn more interesting stuff about hydroponics with us. You can also learn more about setting up your commercially successful hydroponic farm with us. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get upcoming videos on hydroponic growing to become commercially successful in this domain. Also, consider pressing a like button on this video. It will help us understand should we continue making more videos like this or not. See you in the next video with another interesting topic and hidden secrets of hydroponics.